Hey, what's up guys? It's Tay here from TechBalance.com and today's review is going to be on the Microsoft LifeCam 5000. This webcam is a great little webcam for anything Skype, Yahoo Messenger, Windows Live Messenger, everything like that is just great for it. In high definition as well. The picture on this can go up to 1280 by 720 um, 720p HD video. Basically, it has a feature in it called True Color. Um, I believe that's a new feature for webcams, which enables it to be able to s like detect what lighting is in the room and adapt to that lighting so you can see your face and everything like that. Also on True Color, it has brightness increases and decrease levels that you can all change, but the default is just fine. Um, it also has zoom. You can zoom in with this camera um, three times, three times digital zoom, yeah, that's what it is, um, and it has an inbuilt microphone, which is great, also it has a button next to the microphone, which basically is a Windows Live call button, so you press it right, and if you're talking to someone Windows Live Messenger, um, just press the button, and it's instantly gonna call them. Uh, this camera has a flexible stand at the back, which is really really interesting and I've never seen this on a webcam before but basically what it is is it can move to anything it can fit on any monitor no problems whatsoever you can move the camera side to side with it and it's great I, I personally like it um, the microphone quality is great uh, there's no problems with it basically the only problem that's probably with this is that it doesn't sync your voice to the audio, like really. It does. It kind of does, but it doesn't. You know what I'm saying? You guys probably know what I mean. Another problem with this is that its autofocus is kind of annoying. It has autofocus, and that's great and everything, but it autofocuses too much, and that's one of the problems with this camera that everyone experiences. But the good thing about it is you can turn autofocus off, or you can you can slow it down a bit so it doesn't go too fast but personally I, I keep it on I don't worry about it too much um, but it does make it a bit blurry when it's trying to focus and then zooms in and zooms out and also it makes an annoying noise when you're making a recording going when you zoom in and zoom out but apart from that it's a really good HD webcam and I recommend it but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jump on the computer I'm gonna show you the software that I use to make my videos and everything using this camera so I'll see you guys in a sec hey what's up guys now I'm on my computer I'm gonna show you the program that comes with the life cam basically you open it up install it with the disk open it up and you'll see this it should automatically detect your um, camera if it doesn't uh, Make sure it's all plugged in and everything, and just head over to settings up in the top right corner when you press that little arrow. And um, when in select webcam, just choose the live cam 5000 or whatever one you have. But basically, you can adjust the microphone volume in here, you can change the resolution to whatever you want. Um, it's best for 640 by 360 for a YouTube video, and it's in full quality, there's no problems about that. Um, you can adjust the brightness using that true color feature that I was on about before. If I turn it off, it goes a bit dark, but then it brightens back up, as you can see there. Um, you can turn it off or on if you want. I like it on, it just helps the lighting and the camera's quality itself be better. Um, if you click properties down there, you can change the focus to how much you want if I turn it up it's gonna it's gonna focus a bit more than it would be if it's down low um, I'll show you now I'll just put it on 10 put my hand in front it's not gonna focus that much but it's still a great little camera um next if you want to make a video uh, just click get this out of the way um just click down here start video capture and it will start recording from the webcam
See, it's just got to focus in like that. It takes a bit to focus, but it's still a good camera. Okay, I'll stop it now. And it will pop up in the timeline down below. And if you want to edit it with uh, Windows Movie Maker, just click Make a Movie down there, or send it in an email, or add tags and share. You know what I mean? Um, if you want to open up the recordings, just click that live cam folder right there and it will pop all the recordings up in there for you okay so that's basically the software if you want high definition choose 1280 by 720 it's not that bad it's just increasing it, the quality by a little bit but not that much from the 640 by 360